Hello there my friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Evelyn here as always and a huge thank you to every single one of you out there for supporting this channel and giving me so much love and support. It is so, so appreciated. Please, if you haven't done so already, hit that all important subscribe button down below and come over and follow me on Instagram. Now, this week I have taken a break from my usual sewing for some more unusual sewing. This is definitely the weirdest sewing and pattern drafting project that I have ever, ever attempted. Really strange and all will become clear very soon. So, firstly my friends, let's talk supplies. Okay, so supplies that I need today for this rather unusual project are a tape measure, some tracing paper, a pair of very sharp scissors, a highlighter pen, and this week I'm dispensing with my usual Sharpie because I don't want there to be any chance of Sharpie marking the project that I am drafting from. And some fabric. Oh, and a sense of humour, a great deal of love for your husband, and a supercar. Yes, a supercar. Let's go. This is Layla, my husband's Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. We've been her proud owners for nearly a year, which for my husband is a personal record because he gets bored very, very easily. I've not passed my driving test yet, but crazily, I'm on the insurance for this as a learner. I can drive, but I haven't yet discovered the necessary gusto required to put L plates on this beast and drive it, even though the wonderful husband keeps offering. One day, one day. But I hear you ask, what does this have to do with sewing, Evelyn? Well, we recently built this wonderful carport to house the bull and her many ponies, but the neighbourhood cats have taken to wandering around on top of Layla and sleeping on her roof. She does have a proper Lamborghini cover, which fits her perfectly, but it's made from the cheapest, thinnest poly stretch I've ever encountered and it costs you nearly £700 for the privilege. Listen up Lamborghini, if you need details of decent fabric suppliers, I've got you sorted. Daylight robbery, my friends, I tell you. So to protect her roof from those kitty claws, I'm going to attempt to create a protective roof cover for her to sit underneath the Lamborghini cover. Let's give it a try. This is definitely the weirdest pattern drafting and sewing project I have ever tried. First step, make sure that the supercar roof is relatively moisture free and drape your tracing paper over the roof area, using your tape measure to ascertain where the centre of the roof is. This is so that we only need to trace half of the roof and then we can cut our fabric on the fold. It also solves the problem of this car being huge and the tracing paper being much too small. Then, grabbing my trusty highlighter, I traced around the roof to create this. By this point, my friends, I was feeling pretty smug and was wanting to share this smugness with the husband, but he was asleep while watching England play football. Enough said. So, pattern drafted, let's talk fabric. I went to my stash and I know that I've got some bonded thick heavyweight scuba somewhere in that stash. Could I find it? 
No, I could not. Luckily, my stash is brimming with black scuba and I chose to use this scuba crepe fabric. Now with the scuba crepe, the crepe upper side has a more textured feel than the underside. So my plan was to use this fabric because the idea was that the more textured side could go against Layla's roof and hopefully it would stay put better. We'll see if that works out my friends. Also, while we're chatting fabric, it is useful and really handy to have in your sewing arsenal different sewing needles. Now, because scuba is a stretch fabric, the suitable needles are going to be jersey, ballpoint or stretch. And different machines and different fabrics tend to like to use different types of needles. So it's a good idea to have a few different types in your sewing kit so that you can ascertain which is best for your machine and for your chosen fabric. So I've got a couple of different choices here too. Fingers crossed, one works. And fingers crossed this very strange project proves to be successful. Let's see, it's time to get some sewing done. The plan is to cut out two of this pattern piece that I've created on the fold and then simply lay them on top of each other before stitching around the outside. I'm doing this rather than stitching them right sides together to avoid bulky seams so that the cover will sit more flush against the car roof. Because scuba doesn't fray, I don't need to worry about messy or disintegrating edges. To check the fit, I cut out a single piece and placed it over Layla and I'm happy to say it was a perfect fit. Some seriously boss pattern drafting here my friends. To stitch the pieces together I'm using a wider zigzag stitch and my usual polyester thread. This fabric and machine preferred the stretch needle size 90 with the Jersey 100 needle skipping stitches. Naughty naughty. It's simple sewing today with all the brain power going to the initial how on earth am I going to do this thinking at the start. But did it work my friends? Let's check out that reveal. So my friends, there we go, the results of this week's rather weird and strange sewing and pattern drafting project. I have to say, I'm feeling incredibly smug here because my ingenuity really works and paid off here. The cover fits the car perfectly, some absolutely boss pattern drafting skills there, even if I do say so myself. And I'm pleased and proud to report that this cover has actually stopped any dirt, moisture and cat related damage to the roof. So success all the way around. And there are some major wife brownie points on their way. I'm hoping anyway, husband, <laughs> we'll see. But I hope you've enjoyed coming on this little unusual sewing and pattern drafting journey with me here this week, my friends. But until next week, you know the drill. Stay safe, be kind to yourselves, take care, my friends. Bye.